Hello everybody, welcome back to the vlog. Sorry that we've been missing for a bit. Did you miss us? Did you? Uh, thanks to the new subscribers, even though we haven't posted anything. This is your first new video. We promise we usually post more than once a month. So, uh, we don't really have a real explanation for absence. Not that we really need to give one, we know you guys are understanding. But uh, we both kind of have just been at a point in our training where we just needed to focus on the task at hand. We couldn't be bothered with uh, bringing the camera to practice and we didn't really have time to edit video. Anyways, um, so we just, uh, we just needed to get through February doing what we needed to do. And uh, now we're back. We're back in the building. Okay. In two weeks. Uh, I'll be traveling to Australia for the Commonwealth Games um, and recently I just got a package in the mail the Commonwealth Games gear is in um, so I don't have like the Nike competition stuff because I think we're gonna get that down there but I have the like village stuff so there's always two separate Tires, stuff that you compete in and stuff that you wear around the village and train in. So I got that and it's been sitting in our house for two or three days and I wanted to open it with you guys. So I have it here and we're gonna go through everything. He literally hasn't taken anything out of the plastic because he really wanted to do it on camera so we don't even know what he's gotten and it's just been sitting here for two days. Yeah. So let me just grab the bag. I'm gonna put this between us. So, that's just the bag. Stuff. Uh, as you can see, it says stuff. In French, I don't speak French. So yeah, let's get into it. Oh. All right, to start it off, we have a backpack. Which is really handy because we only own about 30 backpacks. Yes, we need 31. Bunch of pockets, you know. It's a backpack so it holds stuff. Uh, everything for the um, village stuff is made by Kukri. Kukri, like the knife. So the next thing is a rugby sweater, rugby shirt. I like it. Uh, this is a another shirt. It's I think it's too small. It's a small. <laughs> Maybe this could be a giveaway for to anybody your that's fiance. small. Okay. All right, getting into the other side of the bag. Jesus. So there's just a couple things we have to go through. All right, so first off we have a, oh, this is the, this is the back. Oh. This is the front. <laughs> Long sleeve. Nice. Shirt. A training singlet. A polo. As you can tell, they all kind of look the same, obviously. Um, but the polo, good material. If I golf, I would golf in it, but I don't golf, so. Red shirt. We have got a, another kind of training top. Nice. Got some shorts here. Sweater. It's not like a sweater material, it's like a. A heavy cotton. Heavy cotton. Fancy. 
I'm really liking the, the gold lettering, the gold Canada stuff. Nice little touch. Another red shirt. Not red, black. It's great that you guys are getting a lot of t-shirts because um, anyone who's been on any type of team before, like even Canada Summer Games or um, Legion Nationals, you're typically given like two t-shirts. And you're supposed to wear that. And you have to wear that t-shirt like all the time. So you're just like living in your own filth for one to two weeks. It's rough. So good job Commonwealth Games um, organizing people. Fancy shorts. Board shorts, I guess you could say. I think I like what I see. That's a good one. It's like a Canadian Hawaiian shirt. So this is, yeah, the Hawaiian shirt. Nice, those look really, oh! I'm Holy, a these look really big. <laughs> Got some drunk of the drunk. So, we have some tapered sweatpants. I am a sucker for tapered sweatpants. Got a, another white shirt, same as the one before. If I haven't told you guys, um, yeah, we leave March the 18th, and then, um, I don't compete until April the 9th and 10th. So I'm there for like three weeks before I compete and then I don't come back until the 16th. So I'm there for like a month. So having this many like sets of clothes is like a huge help because we're obviously gonna have washing machines but it still kind of helps that I don't have to do laundry every like four days. Um, so just got another pair of shorts. These ones are like kind of swimsuity material. Got a training jacket, just like Ooh, training track those pants. Are nice. I think that these pants and this jacket is a podium gear. If I'm not mistaken. Um, and then yeah, just this jacket. And that is it. That is all. Do you like it? A one. Really nice. Good quality. Yeah. You're set for life. And then, uh, last but not least, there was a Google Chromecast in the bag. If you guys don't know what that is, you can just like plug this into your TV and then you just like stream stuff from your phone to your TV. Technology these days. And sporting the Hawaiian Canadian look, we have Taylor Stewart. So like I said, I think this is the opening ceremony stuff. So I'll be coming in, being like. Oh well, I'll just go with this. And wearing a small t-shirt when he is in fact an extra large, Taylor Stewart. I mean, it doesn't not fit. Yeah, I guess if I turn into a marathoner, I could wear it. If you want to switch to rugby, you can indeed look the part. Show us the back. Okay. Sporting one of about 20 t-shirts. Sorry, you recording? Yes. That's all that. Okay. So, last but not least, I'm gonna tr try it on the uh, pants. Feeling good. And the uh, jacket for those really cold, nights in Australia when it's 24 degrees and not 30 degrees but yeah everything fit great uh, I still have to try on a couple more things but yeah happy with everything good job Gold Coast Canada clothes makers so give this video a thumbs up if you like the Team Canada stuff um, comment below on which item is your favorite. Bag, Hawaiian shirt, rugby shirt. And uh, thanks for watching. Tune in next week. There will be a training video and there will be a Cribs tour because we just finished our gym out back so we really want to show you guys. And yeah, thanks for watching. 
拜。